Growing up in Hollywood is truly unpredictable. You can be a star who's on top of the world one moment and then back to being an average Joe the next day. If you're a child actor, then navigating through the entertainment industry can be complex, especially if your looks have dramatically changed. Here are 10 famous child celebs who you would never recognize today. As we get ready to take a trip between the past and the present, take a moment to subscribe to our Timeless channel. All you need to do is click on that red subscribe button and give that gray bell a ring to turn on the notifications. Stephen Anthony Lawrence if you were a fan of Disney Channel's Even Stevens, then you probably remember Beans, who was played by Stephen Anthony Lawrence. The character was a tad esoteric and had an obsession over bacon, which most of us couldn't relate to. He was already a pretty unique kid, and he played his role with total commitment. Because he already had such a unique look, he basically got typecast. He struggled trying to find another acting job that would continue to pay the bills. In December 2015, he was spotted working as a Santa's helper at a local mall in Southern California, and the internet went nuts. People were flocking over to the Sun Valley Shopping Center in Concord, California, and Steven pretty much went viral from all the selfies that he appeared in. But the other thing that completely shocked people was how different he looked. It's not like anyone could have predicted his aging process. Had someone not recognized him, we might have walked right by. Also, the guy hasn't even hit the age of 30, and yet he looks a lot older than that. In fact, Steven is looking more like a young Wallace Shawn than his even Steven's persona. Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen most of us remember Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen from when they were on the show Full House as babies and pre-adolescents. Because the twins were so popular, they had a soaring career aside from the show, which included their own book series, TV show, and even movies. But then they suddenly disappeared from the spotlight. People were eager to find out what became of the Olsen twins, and it was quite a shock to see them all grown up. If you compare them from when they were kids to today, they don't even look like the same wide-eyed girls who stole our hearts so many years ago. The girls have clearly been living life, plus possibly having some work done on their faces. They have moved on from appearing on camera, which is frustrating for those of us who are wanting Michelle Tanner to make an appearance on Fuller House. These days, they are more concerned with their fashion line than appeasing the desires of Full House fans, and have expressed that they won't be reprising their iconic role. Plus, they both look pretty different now, so using both of them to play Michelle just wouldn't be the same. Aaron Carter those of us who grew up back in the 90s and early 2000s remember the iconic boy band, the Backstreet Boys, and Nick Carter was definitely the pretty boy of the group that garnered most of the teenage girl crushes. Then his younger brother, Aaron Carter, came into the mix and piggybacked off of Nick's success. It seemed that every young girl's cup hath runneth over. There were not one, but two adorable singing guys. Aaron looked like a smaller version of Nick, which appeased the younger fan base. But once Aaron's fame faded off, what happened to him? Well, his life hasn't been the most peaceful, and he's definitely struggling. When you first look at him, you can tell he's grown up, but you can hardly recognize him as the little kid we once knew him to be. Aaron has also got quite a bit of ink tattooed on him, including a neck tattoo. He's been handcuffed, he's got his addictions, and he's got an issue with being under the influence. According to Aaron, he and Nick are also having problems with their brotherly relationship, and it seems that life is a bit chaotic for him. That would explain a lot as to why he looks so different today. Huh, hang in there, Aaron. Susan Olsen from 1969 to 1974, Susan Olsen played Cindy Brady in the hit show The Brady Bunch. She was the youngest child in the Brady family, so she really had to play up the cute and adorable moments on camera. Because she played a character with so much sweetness and innocence, it would be assumed that Susan would maintain that image throughout her life. Well, that didn't exactly happen. Just as we all do, Susan grew up, and she doesn't look anything like her Cindy Brady image. Of course, several decades have gone by, and that's to be expected. In fact, it would be weirder if we could recognize her today. Susan has also found herself in a bit of trouble when she was fired from her job at a Los Angeles radio station because she got into an online fight with a gay actor. It seems that not only is Susan unrecognizable in appearance, it seems that she's also quite different when it comes to matters of the heart and empathy. Jake Lloyd the entertainment industry is often a tough place that gives flexibility to no one. Jake Lloyd was just a kid when he was selected to play Anakin Skywalker, the adorable little boy who would become Darth Vader in Star Wars Episode I, The Phantom Menace. The media went nuts as Jake was thrown into a demanding film schedule, plus recording voiceovers for video games as well as doing a promotional tour. After Star Wars, Jake put his acting career in the back seat and tried to live as normal a life as possible. However, time would provide Jake with a lot of struggles, and it all came to a head in 2016 when he 
was taken into custody after a high-speed car chase in South Carolina. According to Jake's mother, he had been dealing with mental illness and was diagnosed with schizophrenia. He spent 10 months behind bars before he was finally moved to a psychiatric facility. It seems that you could be on top of the world one moment and then find yourself struggling at the next. When you see photos of Jake from his Star Wars days compared to today, he looks like a completely different person. It's time for a break. While you contemplate the aging process, here's a quiz question for you to get those wheels turning. Which successful child actor auditioned to play Anakin in The Phantom Menace but didn't even get a callback? Find out the answer at the end of the video. In the meantime, here are some more child actors you would never recognize today. Macaulay Culkin Macaulay Culkin pretty much ruled the world when he was a child star. From the Home Alone franchise and other movies like Richie Rich and Uncle Buck to even appearing in one of Michael Jackson's music videos. Macaulay was the IT kid in Hollywood. Then he got older. He took a step away from the acting spotlight. He was even in a relationship with Mia Kunis for a bit. But when the former child actor made a public appearance, the world was shocked. When Macaulay was a kid, he was adorable, and it was assumed that he would grow up into an equally handsome guy. What we got instead was a guy who was rail thin, gaunt, and looked like he was using some stuff. While Macaulay denied that he was doing anything illegal, the world was worried. Today, he has put on some weight, which is a good thing. He also seems to be getting back into the acting world. Even though he looks nothing like he did when he was a child, he looks a lot healthier. Also, we have to mention that he hangs out with Paris Jackson, and he even let her give him a pedicure. How cute. Amanda Bynes from the time she was seven, Amanda Bynes was in front of a camera. It wouldn't take long for her career to take off. First, she was a regular on All That on Nickelodeon before she got her own spin-off, The Amanda Show. She had a knack for comedy, and it took her far. However, after Amanda announced that she was going to retire from acting, it seems that her life has taken a turbulent turn. She was wearing handcuffs more times than anyone should. She was getting into trouble and was showing signs of a psychotic break. The latter eventually happened. During this time, Amanda became a shadow of her former self and looked unrecognized recognizable, but not in a positive way. One of the most iconic images to come from her breakdown was her wearing a terrible blonde wig that looked like it came from the rejected prop table at Nickelodeon. Today, she has weathered through her storms and is showing that she's getting better. Amanda even announced that she wants to return to acting. Today, she may still look unrecognizable, but she is looking a lot better than she did before. So that's at least a positive change. Edward Furlong how much different can Father Time make us look? There was a time when Edward Furlong was the reason a lot of young girls started liking boys. He was a teen idol who played John Connor in Terminator 2 Judgment Day, which came out in 1991. It's expected that child celebs and teen idols grow up, but Edward definitely aged unconventionally. And that's putting it nicely. He's still getting work, as he's appeared in American History X along with several other movies plus TV shows like CSI New York. But if you were to compare Edward's look from when he was a kid to today, it wouldn't look like the same person. Whether you agree or disagree, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Edward has also dealt with some legal trouble after he got into some disagreements with his girlfriend, which didn't help his public image anyway. You can definitely see his age, and it's quite possible that he probably had some work done on his face to make himself look younger. But that said, we can't say for sure. If this is the case, that will explain why we sure don't recognize him at all. Lindsay Lohan when it comes to child celebs you would never recognize, Lindsay Lohan is nearing the top of this list. She first came into our lives when she starred in the remake of The Parent Trap, and she immediately became a Disney favorite. She landed other leading roles in movies like Freaky Friday and Mean Girls. Not only was she talented, but she was also adorable. She was on her way to becoming a high-demand actress when it seemed that her life fell apart. A lot of that would be further explained as her family began speaking out. As Lindsay was working through the problems of her life, she also had some work done on her face, which made her look even more different from what she looked like when she was a kid. It seemed like the work that she had done had the opposite result of what she was going for. Regardless of whether or not we recognize her, she still has a loyal fan base that's cheering her on for her big comeback. These days, it seems like her younger brother Cody is stealing the spotlight as his modeling career is starting to take off with his recent shoot for Vogue. Brian Bonsall Brian Bonsall played the little brother of Michael J. Fox in the hit show Family Ties. Most of us remember him as the adorable little boy with a bad bowl cut. You just wanted to pinch those little cheeks, give him a hug, and play games with him all day. As you may have guessed, Peter Pan and Neverland are definitely fiction. It seems that time hasn't been the nicest to Brian. Have you seen him lately? He quit acting in 1995 and went on to get involved in the punk music scene. But that's not all that happened. When you look at some of his latest pics, it's hard to believe that it's the same kid. But it is. Brian is found 
found himself in trouble with the law a few times, plus he's got some serious tattoos and who knows what other things he was getting into. It seems that he's cleaned up his act lately though, which is great. But even with his life back on the straight and narrow, he doesn't look anything like he did when he was playing Andy on Family Ties. We guess if you want to take the ride of time, aging is just a part of the payment process for the ride. Which successful child actor auditioned to play Anakin in The Phantom Menace but didn't even get a callback? That would be Haley Joel Osment. It just goes to show that you can still be successful and not book every role that you audition for. Thanks for watching. Which child celeb is the least recognizable? Tell us in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and be sure to check out some of our other videos. Until next time, we'll see you later. Bye bye.